Hello again folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, the 3 GHz Pentium 4 with the 800 MHz front side bus is in, so we're back with the Dell Dimension 3000. And we're going to go ahead and install that chip tonight. Uh, a little bit of this uh, Cooler Master stuff here, since I'm all out of Arctic Silver, that junk there will work just fine. So we're going to go ahead and crack the case open and uh, we'll take it from there. Okay, I just locked the chip down in place, went right in. Now what you want to be careful with guys, any of you that work with these older Dell machines, uh, the heat sink can really be a bitch to get out of these things. Uh, there's these little these little guys here. They snap down and hold the heat sink in place. And a lot of times what happens because these machines are so old now the thermal paste will actually dry up and be stuck to the chip. I pull a lot of these suck of 478 Pentium 4s out with the chip literally stuck to the heat sink in some of these Dell machines. So just a little food for thought. Any of you that uh, work with this old stuff, just make sure. Be careful. I mean, if you're careful enough, you can, you know, pull the heat sink out without, you know, without pulling the chip with it. So just thought I'd bring that up. So let me prepare the chip and get the heat sink back in, and we'll get this thing all buttoned up and ready to go. Alright, and there we go. Pentium 4, 3 gigahertz, 2 gigs of RAM. And we're going to go into Device Manager. And you get the two chips right there. Well, not two chips, but uh, it treats it like there's two, since uh, this chip utilizes hyper-threading technology. So... Uh, there we go, this one was a success. I mean, this thing's never going to be a rocket ship, but, uh, you know, it was fun to do a little trip down memory lane and see that this, uh, this old machine right here actually supported hyper-threading and 800 megahertz front side bus. So, uh, for those of you that wonder, uh, you know, the question was answered here. I don't know if it was answered here necessarily first. There's probably some other people out there in the community that have answered it long before I did. But, uh, yes, your Dell Dimension 3000 does support hyper-threading, and yes, it does support the 800 megahertz front side bus. So, hope you've learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video. There's more exciting videos to come, and I thank you, always I thank you for watching.